doesn't matter how good of an artist you are. If you don't do good line work, it's not going to look good. So I'm going to show you how to line up your sketch using a stock brush called Fine Tip. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm just going to ink this, guys. I'm going to actually use a stock brush, Fine Tip, um, just stock brush and Procreate. And we're going to see what happens. Shout out to Momongo Momongo for these cute little Japanese dwarf flying dwarf squirrels and they're they're really cute so just gonna lower the opacity and I can actually get rid of the photo I don't I don't need it for this so for this fine tip brush I don't think the ends yeah the ends are just so there's no pressure sensitivity and the ends don't taper or anything like that but it's super fine which um, that'll be fun to color in. So I'm just going to try to do, obviously, just very, very outlined. I'm going to try not to bring in too much detail that I'll have to color. I want to try to keep it to just a few colors. I actually don't even know what the streamline or anything is on this brush. Okay, so the streamline's way up. Cute little fat chubby cheeks. So this is also kind of new for me because I'm very used to like, I'm very used to a taper, I'm very used to a pressure sensitive brush, so, um, but I like the look of just really cleaned up, fine, fine like line work and you know, when, when creatures are, are colored like that. I really like it. So I might do a... Um, I might just show the Procreate, um, sorry, my screen is all dirty. My, this, this thing I use on my Apple Pencil is, is falling apart. So I think every now and again I get like these like rubber crumbs. I need to order some of those like old school pencil thingies. They have really cool coloring actually because it they're like gray on top and it even covers like the top half of their arms. I think it's really cute. I'm trying to simplify these even more. I have to keep making these like smaller and smaller. For some reason I do the same thing with like um, this muzzle, this nose, mouth area. And anytime I draw like even my character Horus, I always draw it too big for some reason. And then I always, but I know I do, so I always go back and and shrink it down. <coughs> And 
even know whose foot is that. Now that's your foot. Yeah, I don't know why I make his foot so big. Knock all these feet out. You got some fingers going here. I guess I should have figured out a better method to do these feet. See if I can get this in one go. Right, let me try to speed this up a little bit. Go around little butts. Eyes are the most, always have to be the most precise. I don't normally include the, you know, the, the pupil, the, the dark part of the eye in with the outline, but since it's all black, I think it's fine. It's more because I, I can't make a decision. It's like, oh, but what if I want to change it up and give him a different color eye or something like that? Sometimes I just need to learn to commit. That's not bad. Now for the eyes, I try to stick to the sketch because it took me forever to get these big eyes right. A lot of the problem with when you make really big eyes like this, or really big um, eyeballs, is you have to you have to really make them so they're so that the you know what I mean. So the 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 eye has to be here. They have to be pretty close, you know, pretty close together. Because if you if you make them too far out, then they would, they'll look really weird looking, really funny looking. All right, I mean, I guess I could, maybe I want to just lower the opacity a little bit. You know what? No, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do black all the way through. It's not bad. Now for this little nugget. I do this to kind of show that it's like hair. So like if I'm going like this, sometimes I'll just break it up a little bit.
All right. I'm going to get quiet on the eyes because i got to concentrate. How's that look? I feel like... Yeah, if his are there, I think I'm just making this making this up too, because I don't think they actually have. I don't think they actually have that, but I don't know. I like it, so I'm keeping it. See if we can get his head in one go. Oh. No, not bad. My hand starts dragging. That's a little better. My OCD, making every line perfect, even though I really don't even like things to be super perfect, but... My lines are just... I want them to be perfect. Do I want to give him a little lip? No, it looks weird. I think it looks weird with the little lip. So we'll just give him, hmm, something, something is telling me this looks funny. Yeah, I think, I think this needs a bit of alteration. I like that the best, but it's for some reason it's a little too straight, I think. Oops. That's better. Just a little something to like break it up, I think. I think that's a little better. Yeah, I'm liking that a little better. Okay. So, we'll make... Oh, that's right. They have this... Hmm. So I forgot they have these things that kind of come off. I think that might actually look cuter. Let me see if I can do him like that as well. I 
because I don't want to make them too far off from each other. So much detail in those little mouth. Okay, let's go back to this guy and finish him. So, I always have the the white side or the light side of the the white side of the hand is on the bottom. So, it's not bad. Looks pretty cute and chubby. It works for me. All right, now sleepyhead over here. Give him some hairs. Give him some hairs on the top of his head. Now he doesn't really have, I don't really see that round thing coming off the, the jaw. Let me see if he even has that. Well, he kind of does, but he's sort of turned into it. Okay. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Okay. So he kind of has it, but... Let me start on his little ear. So that's how we'll kind of skate around it. We'll sort of make it there. My nose just touched the microphone again. I don't know why I always feel the need to say when my nose touch the, touches the microphone. For some reason, my instinct is to be slightly embarrassed about it. <laughs> I really don't know why. All right. I really like uh, drawing my characters sleeping or smiling with their with their eyes closed. I never used to I never used to really do it much or like to do it much, but um, but I think that was just because for a long time when I when I would draw characters and I, their eyes would be closed or they would be asleep. Like their eyes would never look like they're closed. Oops. Oh, come on. They would just look like they were open and unfinished. And that's not, that wasn't the look I was going for. But the way that I do it now is, um, you really have to make the line thick here. And then all, and then these other lines have to be really thin. And you have to kind of, you know, also show the, you know, the fact that it's still a round eye. I like that. Cute little nose. Pop 
belly. All right, that looks pretty good. Oh, let me draw the uh, the dark part of the arm. What do we have going on here? Oh, that's right. This is his. That's right. So this is the dark part of. This is the dark part of this hand. That's on the uh, on the log. Should I do the the little bubbles? I don't really do comics. No, I don't think they. I think that would be him thinking, right? I feel like it's just maybe it's just disease. Maybe I'm right. I don't want. I don't want it so straight, though, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm spending so much time on the Z's. Let me just trace what I had and move on. So that's not bad. Pretty decent line work. There's something iffy about his eye here. I don't know what it is. Um, like maybe I need to. Hmm. Something is still off. What brush do I have? Oh, I still have the same one. That's a little, that's a little better for me, I think. So I really just want him, I want his eyes, I want his eye completely forward. Or almost looks like he's looking at this guy. If he was looking at him, I think his eye would be, I'm really going off on a tangent here. If he was looking off, if he was looking at him, his eye would be like this. Do we like that better? We'll leave it. We'll leave it here. All right, so I'm going to take a break. Um, jump. Feel free to jump to the next video in this series, uh, which is coloring in the line work. I, I'm also going to make a video coloring in the sketch. So I'll make one coloring in from this line work, and then one coloring in the sketch. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching the video. Give me a like and a subscribe and be sure to check out the next video should be up in the next couple days where I color the cute Japanese dwarf flying squirrels that I just lined up. So thanks again. As always, keep drawing and I'll catch you in the next video. Alright, just so you guys know, I have a I have about four or five 
All right, just so you guys know, I have about, oh my God. <laughs> Cut. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a like and a subscribe and let me know what you thought of this video below. Um, and be sure to check out the next video, should be up in the next couple days, where I color the cute Japanese dwarf flying squirrels that I just lined up. So yeah, thanks again. Keep So thanks again. Keep drawing. Oh my god.